Hello everyone, happy afternoon, a very good afternoon. Uh, am I audible and visible? A quick nod on that. Am I audible and visible everyone? Yes, amazing. That's great. So, I see uh, again the short sure shot 150 ka request. Yash, Nagpur, Arangabada, Pune. Uh, we might have at one of these places. Planning to conduct in one of these places. Uh, mostly maybe Nagpur or Aurangabad. I'll give you an update on that. I am also trying my best uh, if possible so that it, it benefits the maximum people. Right? If we can do it online as well, I am trying my best to materialize that. I'll give you an update on that. But uh, nevertheless, uh, yes, Aramir, as I said, I am trying my best so that it can materialize. But if not, at least... Uh, uh, you know the maximum cities where I can reach out to I will try to do my best there okay and uh, for at least the Delhi students or whoever can travel to Delhi if you are nearby Delhi please make the best uh, use of this uh, short shot 150 class which is going to be held on uh, uh, December 6 7 and 8 in Delhi so three days rather than two days class is what we have and this is magic 2.0 because we will be doing some changes in the previous book some topics would be different uh, right the important topics list is what we would be adding on so please make sure whether you are a neat PG candidate or you are a FMG candidate or even if uh, I have students here who are in their final year of MBBS and soon you would be starting your neat PG preparation this session will give you an idea basically on how to prepare for your uh, PG entrance exams. So it's not only for the immediate students who will be giving need PG FMG immediately. Uh, all of you basically should be making the best of this. The 150 most important topics will be covered uh, in a very very easy way over a period of three days and in INICT we saw a high strike rate uh, basically in the recent INICT November 22 from this just one book. We had two days of classes in Hyderabad and there were more than 50 questions out of 200 basically in INICT. So I want each one of you to make the best use of this. See, whatever would be, would be covered in these three days ka classes, I have covered here and there somewhere on the online platform basically. But the advantage with these three days like offline classes is that at a stretch, like in a period of three days, we would cover a significant amount of uh, portion or syllabus, which otherwise for yourself as an individual to do, it might take one month or even more than that. Okay. So basically that is the advantage of attending these uh, offline classes as well. Please, uh, Sajal, do not fall trap. Uh, I've seen a lot of messages. I'm seeing a lot of telegram groups. People are taking advantage of telling everybody that a short shot book available hai and they are selling at some insane prices. Please do not buy that. Because first of all, see, this book is a blank book. It is, it is to be filled in the classroom. So it is without annotations. Second, even if they are selling the books with annotations, like some student has made notes in the class and they are selling it, it will be very difficult for you to grasp the information from what someone else has written. It's a lot of khichdi that they would have done in the book. So please do not fall trap to that. And this book, see, even if I make it available, it's a blank book, as I said. So it is, it will not make any sense, even if like, you know, I can mint a lot of money out of it if I keep selling this book. But I know that this will not help you because it's a blank book, right? So please, try to understand that as well okay all right so as i said i'll, I'll try to uh, do something in which maximum students would benefit right if online is possible if we can materialize that that would be great if not i'll try to do in as many cities as possible jaha bhi possible hoga i'll try to do my best okay but at least the Delhi students and then the Hyderabad students as well we have the next session in Hyderabad also on 15 16 and 17 of December okay Perfect. Thank you. You are doing a great work. 
ठीक है सो प्लीज टेल योर फ्रेंड्स ऑल्सो नॉट टू फॉल क्लैप टू दिस ओके सो इन दिस इज अ वेरी शॉर्ट सेशन बेसिकली वेर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द निमोनिक्स फॉर एच एल ए एसोसिएशन वाई दिस टॉपिक इज इंपॉर्टेंट this might seem like a ratta mar topic a fact based topic but remember that these topics basically if you remember them well they help you answer the clinical questions like they might give you a clinical scenario and they will ask you that what is the hla associated or in the uh, question stem it would be uh, it would be given that ki ye wala hla associated hai to kaun sa disease hai like last neat uh, pg we had the question on celiac disease right ki what hla is associated with celiac disease so that is what uh, makes it uh, very very important theek hai uh so let's start with this one so starting with the unusual one basically can someone tell me what is this and what are we trying to learn out of this Uh, just give me a minute just give me a minute guys हाँ, so, ये क्या है इसमें क्या दिख रहा है सॉरी देर वॉज समथिंग अर्जेंट सो दैट्स वाई हैव टू टेक ये ए के फोर्टी सेवन है हाँ हाँ ए के फोर्टी सेवन है सो ए के फोर्टी सेवन से हम क्या लर्न कर रहे हैं ट्राइंग टू लर्न आउट ऑफ दिस Okay, so this is AK forty seven, right? This is not for uh, we are learning HLA association. So basically, where have you have you read anywhere HLA B forty seven association? Have you read anywhere uh, HLA B forty seven? Right, that is associated with. adrenal insufficiency okay that is associated basically with adrenal insufficiency so uh, what are we seeing here basically is adrenal ki kami ak47 basically is adrenal ki kami that is adrenal insufficiency or basically it is usko aapko yaad rakhna hai congenital adrenal hyperplasia okay remember basically it's for adrenal it is hla b47 so congenital adrenal hyperplasia or the other way this question can be put ahead is 21 alpha hydroxylase deficiency okay 21 alpha hydroxylase deficiency is hla b47 theek hai now look at this one what is this image showing basically this image is showing basically a room and how many walls the room has okay how many walls the room has basically a room has four walls okay a room has four walls so remember that room is basically this room that is rheumatoid arthritis okay rheumatoid arthritis am i audible and visible what happened to the video i am not able to see it all right okay so it is rheumatoid arthritis is hla dr4 okay remember it is hla dr4 it is room has four walls so it is hla dr4 basically for rheumatoid arthritis theek okay? hai next one what is this what is this one just married 27 years ago and imagine at the age of 27 so basically married 27 years ago marriage is like making a pair making a couple 27 years ago or getting married at the age of 27 so remember that pair is hla b 27 is basically pair what does pair stand for it is so right tick arthritis 
राइट इट इज एंकाइलोजिंग स्पॉन्डिलाइटिस वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इट इज आईबीडी वाला राइट द आर्थराइटिस एंड यू हैव द रीटर सिंड्रोम और बेसिकली एनी रिएक्टिव आर्थराइटिस और रीटर सिंड्रोम सो बेसिकली इट इज सीरो पॉजिटिव सीरो निगेटिव सीरो पॉजिटिव सीरो निगेटिव इज सीरो निगेटिव बेसिकली इज एच एल ए बी ट्वेंटी सेवन ओके एच एल ए बी ट्वेंटी सेवन सो रिमेंबर दैट इट इज स्पेर सोरियासिस एंकालोजिंग स्पॉन्डिलाइटिस आई बी डी एंड रीटर्स और रिएक्टिव आर्थराइटिस पेर एट द एज ऑफ ट्वेंटी सेवन वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रिमेंबर इट इज एंकाइलोजिंग स्पॉन्डिलाइटिस इज एच एल ए बी ट्वेंटी सेवन दिस इज फेवरेट फॉर द एग्जाम द हिस्ट्री गिवन इज बैकेक द लो बैकेक along with uh, in neat pg recent exam the association with uveitis there was morning stiffness as well right uveitis there was morning stiffness so basically this will be the clue given for ankylosing spondylitis theek hai ibd associated arthritis okay the zero negative arthritis next one what is this showing the preparation of neat pg basically which will change your title from doctor yani basically doctor ka degree we get when we are mbbs and then it changes to ms theek hai so if you clear the neat pg so basically it is the journey of doctor to ms okay doctor to ms so what is the trick here remember that multiple sclerosis is hladr2 okay multiple sclerosis is hladr2 and you know that all the pains all the struggles that everybody has to go through while preparing for the pg entrance exams and many people would be like nako i don't want to do this nako basically means no okay in marathi basically nako is uh, basically i don't want to do it so remember nako is like narco narcolepsy is also hladr2 theek hai but then your parents say ki don't say no no actually it is a good thing to do like you get the ms degree so it's a good thing to do so basically remember it is good postures also is hladr2 theek hai so imagine the story neat pg preparation doctor to ms so multiple sclerosis hladr2 you say nako i don't want to do it that is narcolepsy but basically then the parents say ki no no it is good so that is good postures is also hladr2 theek hai next one what is this of course everybody knows mahatma gandhi and uh, look at the spectacles of mahatma gandhi which is basically the figure of 8 okay so the spectacles which are basically the figure of 8 so remember that mahatma gandhi that is mg spectacles is figure of 8 that means mg stands for myasthenia gravis it is hla b Eight. Okay, it is H L A B eight. Myasthenia gravis is H L A B eight. ठीक है. And also remember that Graves and Graves, Graves disease, they go together. Even if you remember from the hypersensitivity reactions, Graves and Graves they go together. So that is uh, they are type five hypersensitivity reactions. Here also the H L A is H L A B eight. Okay, that is H L A B eight. All right, give me a minute. Yes. All right. So basically, that break because Kaira is back from school, so I had to open the door for her. Hmm. All right. So it is uh, about uh, myasthenia gravis and Graves' disease is HLA B eight. Okay, it is HLA B eight. 
Now, uh, going to the next one. Okay, going to the next one. What is this? What is this? This is basically talking about sugar free. Okay, this is basically about uh, sugar free. That is diabetes mellitus. So, diabetes mellitus, diabetes patients should eat sugar free stuff. So, remember sugar free basically is uh, HLA, DR. 3 most important is hla dr3 right and remember that it is uh, which diabetes mellitus even this is asked as a question remember that it is type 1 diabetes mellitus okay it is a insulin dependent diabetes mellitus not the type 2 diabetes mellitus which is hla associated very very important point has been asked previously okay this has been asked previously and also remember that even sle is hla dr3 associated right very good akhil so basically it is 3 4 sugar free okay 3 4 3 is sugar free most important is uh, hla dr3 ye kya hai hum panch so remember this hum panch basically it is hp is panch that means it is hla dr5 and what does hum panch stands for it is hashimoto thyroiditis pernicious anemia this is hla dr5 associated okay so hashimotos and pernicious is hum panch uh, that is uh, dr5 hla dr5 okay hashimotos and pernicious what is this one here any guesses what hla we are trying to denote out of this let's see uh, whose thinking goes where So what are we trying to show here and what is the HLA association? So this is a person basically with these abs, right? Look at the abs, Gajaniwala, huh? who looks like an iron man. Okay, remember this is Iron Man and we will not 6 abs karke yaad nahi rakhenge, 6 packs or 6 abs karke nahi. Uska aadha hi dekho, basically the 3 levels, 1, 2 and 3. Okay, so remember it is 1, 2 and 3, abs 3. Okay, abs 3, A3 is Iron Man that is uh, basically increased iron hemochromatosis. Very, very important again, this is asked in the exam. Hemochromatosis is HLA A3. So remember, hemochromatosis iron, iron man, as a three abs, the cry three levels. It is HLA A3 abs three. Okay, and what is the gene for hemochromatosis? It is HFE gene. Okay, it is HFE. Remember, hemochromatosis iron problem FE, and for that the chromosome number is chromosome number six. Remember the HFE gene is located on chromosome 6, 6 abs, but the levels are 3, so that is uh, HLA is A3, okay, HLA is A3. What do you think, which condition is this which is shown here? A patient presents with relapsing uveitis, recurring genital ulcers and recurring oral, oral ulcers. What do you think basically is the diagnosis? Eye is affected, genital ulcers and the oral ulcers. Very good, Avinash. This is basically Bessette's disease. Okay, very good. This is Bessette's. Where there is history of recurrent genital ulcers, recurrent oral ulcers and also the uveitis. And what is the HLA for Bessette's disease? Okay, what is the HLA for Bessette's disease? Remember Bessette's disease E is the fifth alphabet. Alphabetically it is fifth. So remember it is HLA B. 51. Okay, it is HLA B. 51 which is associated with best sets okay it is hla b 51 okay very very important so let's have a look at this best sets is basically hla b 51 abaca veer hypersensitivity very very important abaca veer nrti antiretroviral drug which can have hypersensitivity can lead to rash can lead to mi remember for uh, for abaca veer what is the hla for abaca veer what is the HLA basically for Abakavir? Remember Abakavir. Again, it is Abakavir. It is HLA. It is HLA B. Okay, it is HLA B 57. Okay, it is HLA B 57, which is uh, basically for uh, Abakavir. So, Bessets is 51. 
and abaca weed is 57. Hemochromatosis abs three levels iron man key it is HLA A3 and psoriasis vulgaris is what HLA? Psoriasis vulgaris is what HLA? So basically it is HLA remember I can write psoriasis like C so phonetically psoriasis so C so remember it is HLA C W6 okay it is HLA C W6 psoriasis is C wala okay psoriasis is C wala okay so let us uh, quickly revise this and tell me what are the various uh, HLA associated or ek jo humne miss kiya very very important that is basically celiac disease where the patient has gluten sensitivity enteropathy right wheat say sensitivity hota hai uh, associated with the skin condition that is dermatitis herpetiformis which shows the lesions on the elbows on the knees right uh, those are the pruritic lesions remember for celiac disease it is HLA DQ2 and HLA DQ8 so basically you can remember it as in celiac disease we tell imagine we are telling to someone ki DQ2 Two, that is DQ2 so that is basically wheat DQ2 like if this patient has celiac disease so you have wheat kyun diya basically because sensitivity is wheat kyun diya so remember celiac wheat DQ2 that is DQ2 and it is DQ8 as well okay it is DQ2 and DQ8 right clear with everyone basically with the uh, various uh, HLA associations Right, so those are the various uh, most important uh, HLA associations uh, that we should know. Quickly revising them. Okay, quickly revising them. Uh, right, so here it goes. So tell me that what is the HLA for myasthenia gravis? Mahatma Gandhi ka spectacle figure 8. So it is HLA B8. So myasthenia gravis. Graves is basically HLA B8. Okay, it is HLA B8. Uske baad mein, what is the HLA for Hashimoto's and pernicious anemia? Hum panch. Okay, it was hum panch. So it was HLA DR5. Okay, HLA DR5. Uske baad mein, the next one is uh, what is the HLA for celiac? Wheat DQ2. You can hear the background uh, sound, right? Kaira is humming. It is uh, HLA DQ2. Next, what is the HLA for insulin dependent diabetes mellitus? Sugar free, that is HLA DR3 and HLA DR4. Okay, DR3 and DR4. What is for uh, rheumatoid arthritis? Rheumatoid arthritis, room has four walls. Okay, room has four walls. So basically, remember it is HLA DR4, rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, what is for multiple sclerosis? MS, doctor to MS. So remember it is HLA DR2, which is also for NACO. I don't want to do it narcolepsy, but it's a good thing. That is good pastor's syndrome. Okay, that is good pastor's. Uh, what is the HLA for basics? For basics, it is HLA B51. HLA B57 is Abaka Veer. HLA B47, what is for HLA B47? AK47 wala, adrenal wala. That is congenital adrenal hyperplasia is HLA B47. And HLA B27, at the age of 27, we become a pair, marriage. So, psoriasis, ankylosing, IBT and reactive arthritis or Reiter syndrome. Okay, this is HLA B27. So, HLA B27 ho gaya, DR2 ho gaya, DR3, DR4, DR5, uh, DQ2 ho gaya. What is the HLA A3 for? A3, abs ke teen levels in iron man. So, iron man, iron wala is basically hemochromatosis okay that is hemochromatosis that is HLA A3 okay that is HLA A3 so yes so those were about the most uh, important uh, most important HLA associations as I said you can get a clinical scenario celiac disease ka like was asked in last need PG basic disease ka clinical scenario or myasthenia gravis ka clinical scenario what is the clinical scenario for myasthenia it is a patient who has fatigue ptosis more in the evening Right, so calm ke saath, fatigue zada hota hai, that is classical myasthenia gravis, thymoma associated, that is HLA B8, okay, HLA B8. Abaka V, but ek to yaad karlo ki 47 ke baad, ya 51 ke baad, 57 wala is Abaka V.
ठीक है सो यू कैन ऑल्सो रिमेंबर इट दिस इज जस्ट आई एम थिंकिंग लाइक जस्ट नाउ आई एम थिंकिंग अबाउट इट सो फोर्टी सेवन फिफ्टी वन एंड फिफ्टी सेवन दीज आर द एच एल एसोसिएशन दैट वी हैव सो फोर्टी सेवन ए के फोर्टी सेवन एड्रीनल वाला फिफ्टी वन वाला इज बेसिकली बेसिक्स और इन दोनों को मिला दोगे ए और बी को तो उसका नेक्स्ट नंबर दैट इज अबाकावीर तो फोर्टी सेवन फिफ्टी वन एंड फिफ्टी सेवन रिमेंबर फर्स्ट ए देन बी एंड देन ए बी राइट सो अल्फाबेटिकली मतलब न्यूमरिकली आप अरेंज करोगे फोर्टी सेवन फिफ्टी वन फिफ्टी सेवन ए बी ए बी दैट इज बेसिकली एड्रिनल हाइपर प्लेजिया बेसेज डिजीज एंड अबाकावीर ठीक है हम पांच वाली फ्लाइड दिखाओ विच इज द हम पांच वाली स्लाइड बेसिकली इट इज दिस वन हम पांच इज हशी मोटोज एंड परनीशियस इज एच एल ए डी आर फाइव ओके हशी मोटोज एंड परनीशियस इज एच एल ए डी आर फाइव सूर्य द एच एल ए बी ट्वेंटी सेवन बेसिकली इज सोराइटिक आर्थराइटिस ठीक है दैट इज सोराइटिक आर्थराइटिस एंकाइलोजिंग स्पॉन्डिलाइटिस आईबीडी एसोसिएटेड आर्थराइटिस एंड रिएक्टिव आर्थराइटिस ठीक है और रीटर सिंड्रोम ठीक है so uh, how to register for the hyderabad and delhi wala short shot 150 i'll be sharing the link in the comments and in the description uh uh theek hai I'll, i'll post i'll upload the link in the description and the comments here you can it's a online registration that you need to do theek hai chalo so that was for today's guys a quick session everyone aa jao bye bol rahe ho sabko bye bol do fir jaldi pehnao aao come quickly oh Bye. Uh, thank you so much, everyone. Any other queries, Bye. you can always stay connected on Telegram group. What will be the time for the class? Uh, it's gonna be morning nine a.m. basically, right? No. ठीक है? चलो. Thank you so much everyone goodbye take care and keep studying keep revising and keep winning thank you bye bye